This is Witch Space News for Friday the 8th of February 2019. I'm Commander Burr. In this weeks news, Frontier Developments will be hosting a Frontier Meetup at PAX East 2019. Season 1 of the Squadron leaderboards comes to an end and the Game Glass second screen app is to support Elite Dangerous. In a post by Frontier's lead community manager Will Flanagan, Frontier Developments announced this week that they will be attending this years PAX East Expo in Boston in the US of A where they have a pathological aversion to tea. The Cambridge based Frontierians won't be dragging a stand over to Boston with them but they did however announce that they will be hosting a Frontier meetup at the Hard Rock Cafe in Fanuni, Fanuni, in a hall in Boston. If you want to attend and meet the team then there's a link in the description to the forum post where you'll find all the details you need. Frontier have promised food and drink at the venue, no word on tea but I imagine they'll be bringing their own because the locals are savage monsters by all accounts. Tea is life. The inaugural season of the squadron leaderboards came to a close with yesterdays server bounce and the winners and runners up were announced on the forums and also on Frontiers livestream last night. The system was launched with the 3.3 update at the end of last year and will be cycling continuously now every couple of months until the end of time itself. Paige Harvey did mention on the livestream last night that a large portion of the squadrons that won or came in as runners up were around the 15 member mark so it's not just something that is owned by the large squadrons at all which was really gratifying to hear. All the winners and runners up will be getting appropriately themed free hollow bobbleheads to place in their ships which is brilliant. To find out if your squadron was involved there's a link in the description below. The developers of the Game Glass second screen application announced this week that they are adding support for Elite Dangerous in the near future. If you're unfamiliar with Game Glass it originally sprang from the Star Citizen community and utilises device like, devices like phones and tablets to present in-game controls and information in a glass cockpit style. Whilst not the first to the market Game Glass has specifically positioned itself to be picking up uh, a few important and much needed refinements over similar apps. As well as animated icons that give visual feedback they also plan to support haptic feedback when they launch. The basic client and control set will be free to download and use and then further expanded and more specific functionality will be available via paid for downloadable shards or by a subscription model to unlock the whole thing. We'll be keeping a close eye on the apps future development and dusting off some old phones and tablets in the meantime. That's it for now. Thank you so much for making it this far. If you enjoy our content then please hit like and subscribe and remember to hit the little bell icon to get a notification next time we upload a new video. You can also find us on Twitter, Patreon, Discord and Instagram. Links to all those are in the description below. Also in the description below you'll find a list to other Elite Dangerous content creators that we recommend. We'll be back later this week with more videos. Until then, 07 Commanders, follow the greens on the way out and do keep clear of the toast rack. We very much look forward to seeing you next time. <laughs>